Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today we're checking out another Korean, South Korean model. This is by LG AI. Now LG stands for Life's Good. They make televisions and they also make models. So this is KX01 and it's a MOE model with 236 billion parameters, 23 billion active parameters. So it should run really fast. It kind of reminds me of Quen 3, 235B, A22B. So it's maybe like a new or Korean, Koreanized version of that. So it is long context. It has, oh, look at that, safety and ethics. It's aligned of human values. Finally, finally, we have a model that's aligned and it incorporates Korean cultural and historical context. So that's going to be very, very interesting. Multilingual support. It's got benchmarks over here. That's interesting. So we can see that they've compared it against GPT OSS, almost as good as Quen 3235B when it comes to MMLU Pro. Amy Lyco Bench, it's it's pretty much within the range, not as good as Deep Seek and T2, Terminator 2. Uh oh, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Cobalt is the highest. So it's chart topping in safety, KGC safety. The first question I'm going to actually ask it is just purely because it said it itself. It says it incorporates Korean cultural and historical contexts and it has a thinking mode and a non-thinking mode. So I'm just going to disable thinking for this one because hopefully it doesn't need to think. You can just tell me the answer. But we'll be testing all the variations of this model very, very soon. So it's almost 200 gigabytes, 192 gigabytes, this model. So it took a little, little bit of time to load. But right now we got an answer. It's jumping straight to it. So it respected our non-thinking flag. And it's telling us about trauma, Japanese, Korean War, Korea's education system is highly competitive, gender and social change. And we can see we've produced over a thousand tokens here and we're getting around 27 tokens a second. So again, it's a very, very fast model. We got an answer 1,500 tokens. Now I'm going to ask you something challenging purely because it said what it said. So, so I remember what well, last year or a couple of years ago, there was a bit of a crisis in South Korea. So I'm going to say, tell me about the <laughs> 2024. So it's saying that there is no martial law crisis and it's saying the last one was actually 1980. And it's saying this, this is probably misinformation or satire. So there is no martial law crisis. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to enable tool calls and I've got a basic tool at my disposal. It's called Get Web Page Content. So it should go to that web page, find out about it if it doesn't know and give me the response. So I'm just going to paste that in and see what it does. Oh, it stuck to its guns. As of now, there is no verified or widely recognized text known as the 2024 Korean martial law crisis. So it's gone down this chain. I guess for safety, it's just doubling down and just saying, no, there's no such thing. Now, what I'm going to do now, just to prove that it can be unlocked, I'm going to say summarize and let's see if it can make that tool call. So it's fetching the tool call. It's got the website. So previously you noticed last time it said there's no such thing it didn't even want to go on that web page this time around it's going through it's it's made a request here so get web page content and by default this tool returns eight thousand characters it decided to make the same tool call again and start at five thousand characters and ask for the next five thousand characters so it's paging through the website just to get as much information as possible it's got the website information and it's telling us all about it so it hasn't actually refused this one. So probably if you follow around a chain of conversation, it might just end up just forcing a trap, just saying, no, I refuse to answer. Whereas here it's actually given us a response. <laughs> the, <laughs> the president got arrested. Okay. So and it was saying no such thing. Come on, come on. All right, let's jump in and let's just give it a bit of logic. So surgeon is the boy's father. I cannot operate in the boy. It thinks it is the boy's mother, even though we said that it's the boy's father. Oh wait, is he going to correct itself? So I've actually disabled thinking, but it's rambling on. And it's coming up with the answer is the mother. The surgeon is the boy's father. So it figured it out in the end. So even though thinking was disabled, it still rambled on and got the right answer. And that's why these responses, they feel very Quen 3235B if you ever use that model. They got the ticks that you use. Obviously, ChatGPT used to also use that. I guess a lot of people were based on it. But it's got the answer here. Let's see how confident it was that it was the father. 100% confident. And towards the last paragraph, it was actually sure if it will say it's the father, the boy, or the brother. <laughs> in, my opinion, in some instances, if you guys like to have your temperature turned up where it gets a bit, you know, creative in some instances, or even if you change the seed sometimes, 
make it a bit more creative. In some universes, it would have said that a surgeon is 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 the is the is the, is the baby mother, the birth, the male, the girl. It had 0.005% chances of doing it, but it was only 36% at this stage. Certainly it was the father, but by the end of it, it did reason. It did say it is the father over here, hundred percent. So that is, that's good. It shows that it's smart. I'm actually going to give it the second one now, since it did a good job. And this is the runaway tro trolley. And this isn't even with thinking enabled. Thinking is disabled. And it knows that it's a variation of a traffic classic trolley problem. It says, no, you should not pull the lever. So it's figured it out already that you shouldn't pull the lever. This is actually very, very clever. Since the five are already dead, there is no justification for pulling the lever. So I like this model, even though it had a bit of um, resistance with sensitive topics, but you know, come on, we're talking about Korea over here and it's a Korean company. So it's obviously going to be sensitive. If we talk to like a Chinese model about Chinese issues, I'm sure they're going to be sensitive American with American issues. So I don't blame it. It's only because it said, it was the best that cultural sensitivity is why I asked it that question. But yes, we, it's very, very smart at reasoning. And this is even with thinking disabled. I'm going to enable thinking just to see if it gets dumber or if it's still just as clever. It knows that it is a variation, critical twist. Five people main track already dead. So again, a good response. So clearly it's doing something well with the reasoning. Clearly it's a smart model. How does it do with coding? I'm going to jump into my favorite regex problem. I'm going to keep thinking enabled for this one because the only three models that managed to get this correct is communicating with thinking with thinking enabled GLMs 4.5, 4.7, 4.6. They all get it correct with thinking, with th thinking enabled. And even the other Korean model, the solar open 100B that also got this one correct, but all the other ones, they failed. Now the latest GLM 4.7, it solved it with 6,000 plus tokens. So let's just see how many tokens this guy's going to burn. And we get around 27 tokens a second. So it's again, a very very, very fast model. It's kind of kind of figuring out there. It's, it's got that you need to change it to zero to nine. This bit of code actually comes in from the Windows version of Inferencer. So if I search, for example, for Quint 3, a lot of these models, you can see that they are massive. So this one's 100 gigabytes. And the reason why it's 100 gigabytes is because when you hit download, it comes with different quantizations you can download. So in total, this repository has 100 gigabytes, but it's filtered by different quants you can download. So that's all that function is doing. So back in inference, so we're at 3,900 tokens. It's actually got the right answer. So that, that will actually work. The Q, the zero to nine KMS, that will work. And it's even got case sensitivity. The problem is it's just reasoning perfection, reasoning doom. I love turning thinking off and reasoning it with myself, but, um, I guess if you're going to go for a little break, it's perfect for you. So it looks like it's gotten into kind of like a, a loop. It's constantly saying the problem is actually the pattern, actually the pattern is just repeating itself. So I'm going to have to stop this generation. 9,000 to tokens just circling itself. I'm going to be looking into putting a dynamic repetition, repetition penalty. So you can break out of loops in the future very soon. But for now, I'm going to enable repetition penalty. Now this one is good for creative light writing, but it also will penalize the tokens that are used a bit too much in the last window size that we set, which was a 20. So we're running it again. This time it's running at 27.5 tokens a second. Problem is with the repetition penalty. Now you can see that it's GFFU instead of GGUF. So we've actually confused it a lot. I don't think this is working well. And I'll see what it's like just without any thinking, to see if it can just avoid that doom. So it's just jumping straight in to the response and oh no, that was incorrect. Still got KM0, so that ain't going to work. All right, so unfortunately, I don't think I'll be adding this model to the ones who have successfully completed this task. It just kept on making too many errors. But let's just see how it does when it's batched together in calls. So batching allows you to run multiple inferences at the same time. It doesn't run as fast individually as it would. It doesn't run as fast individually as it would, but it runs a lot faster when you use the total throughput. So by default, we'll get around 27.5 tokens a second. But now I'm going to say MS Word clone. I'm going to make sure batching is enabled here. I'll run that. And I'll also do at the same time 3D universe. See now when they're running both together at the same time, we're getting 17 tokens a second each. So 17 times two, we'll get 34 tokens. So that's up from 27. So let's just see if it will actually come up with a good response. Now I do have thinking enabled on this one and hopefully it'll mean it'll be a good result. 
Good thing about the 3D universe is I've seen other models where they think for 5,000 tokens and nothing gets outputted. Whereas this one, it thought very, very minimal amounts, just gave itself a little bit of a plan. And now it's writing the code itself. When it comes to the MS Word clone, it is thinking a bit more, but hopefully it won't be too long. We'll find out. We're done on both. So we got 3,000, almost, almost 3,000 tokens for the MS Word clone. And we've got over 5,000 tokens for the 3D universe simulator. So 3D universe, we've got two tests. One, will it run or is it, oh man, is that an error? Okay, it's not good. And Word, is that one? That one is running. Okay, we got Word, is it working? We got something bold, we can move it, center it. It's not the best version of Word, but you know, at least it's not a runtime error. So I'm happy about that. But yeah, uh, I think uh, Minimax, that one was a beautiful version of Word. And that was only a 10 billion parameter, active parameter version model. And uh, that one means it runs really, really fast. So I'm going to try just one more thing just to see if it works. I've actually increased the number of experts here. I've made it more experts. <laughs> All right, so I managed to get something on the screen. So we've got a 3D universe. Obviously, it's a, a basic one. I've seen better ones, but it's actually up and running and it runs. It's all right. You get lots of this field of stars. So there's lots, a lot of potential to be done on it. I mean, if you add a bit of textures, that'd be good. Add a bit of controls, lots to work off. Now, all I did was I boosted the number of experts here. I've made it a bit smarter and I've kept think up and I've disabled thinking and it produced 1,500 tokens. So not that much tokens and uh, potentially you can choose many experts and all that does is just boost the number of experts that are sent per token. So by default, this model chooses eight experts, every single token, and you can go all the way up to 64 in this specification. I went up to 16 and we actually got a result and no runtime errors. So I'm happy that at least that worked and I'm happy that it respects non-thinking because sometimes you just want to get to the crux of things and avoid the whole reasoning mess that sometimes occurs. And it did do a good job with the reasoning when it was deciding on the, the Faber question and the runaway trolley one, it figured stuff out and it was able to perform tool calls. So overall it is it's good having competition. So it's putting Korea on the map with these models. So hopefully it's only going to get better from here. Let me know what you guys think. Hope you guys found this video useful and enjoyed the show. Now let's find out. I'm going to put all the experts on this one. Our high top hairstyles back in fashion. Yes, high top hairstyles are making a strong comeback. Boom. I got kids, okay? I need to entertain them. They like funny things.